Well, the neutrality one is really interesting because uh, that's basically a summary of the discussions that are going on underneath. It would be amazing if, uh, like, I, I should be honest, I don't look at the talk page often. Mm. I don't, it would be nice somehow if there was a kind of a summary in the in this banner way of like, this, lots of wars have been fought on this here land <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for this here paragraph. Well, it's really interesting, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Because we one of the things I do spend a lot of time thinking about these days, and you know, people have found that we're moving slowly, but you know, we are moving, thinking about, okay, these tools exist. Are there ways that this stuff can be useful to our community? Uh, because a part of it is we we do approach things in a non-commercial way in a really deep sense. It's like it's it's been great that Wikipedia has become very popular, but really we're just we're a, a community whose hobby is writing an encyclopedia. That's first, and if it's popular, great. If it's not, okay, we might have trouble paying for more servers, but it'll be fine. And so, how do we help the community use these tools? What are the ways that these tools can support people? And one example I never thought about. I'm going to start playing with it is, you know, feed in the article and feed in the talk page mm -hmm. and say, can you suggest some warnings in the article based on the conversations yeah. in the talk page? I think That's it might, brilliant. might be good at that. It might get it wrong sometimes, but again, if it's reasonably successful at doing that and you can say, oh, actually, yeah, it does suggest, um, you know, the neutrality of this has been disputed on a section that has a seven page discussion in the back, that might be useful. Don't know. We're yeah, playing with. I mean, some more color to the not neutrality, but also the amount mm. of emotion laden in the exploration of this particular yeah. part of the topic. Yeah, it, it might it might actually help you uh, look at m more controversial pages, uh, like yeah. on you know a page on the war in Ukraine or a page on Israel and Palestine. There could be parts that everyone agrees on, and there's parts that are just like tough, tough, the hard parts. And, yeah, and it's hard. It would be nice to, when looking at those beautiful long mm -hmm. articles, to know like, all right, let me just take in some stuff where everybody well, agrees on. Uh, I can give an example that I haven't looked at in a long time, but I was really pleased with what I saw at the time. So, the 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 discussion was that they're building something in Israel. And for their own political reasons, uh, one side calls it a wall, hearkening back to Berlin Wall, apartheid. The other calls it a security fence. So we can understand quite quickly, if we give it a moment's thought, like, okay, I understand why people would have this this grappling over the language. Like, okay, you, you want to highlight the negative aspects of this and you want to highlight the positive aspects, so you're going to try and choose a different name. And so there was this really fantastic Wikipedia discussion on the talk page, how do we word that paragraph to talk about the different naming? It's called this by Israelis, called this by Palestinians. And that how you explain that to people could be quite charged, right? You mm -hmm. could easily p explain, oh, there's this difference, and it's because this side's good and this side's bad, and that's why there's a difference. Or you could say, actually, let's just, let's try and really stay as neutral as we can and try to explain the reason. So you may come away from it with, with a concept uh oh, okay i understand what this debate is about now and uh just the term israel palestine conflict mm. is still the title of a page at wikipedia but the word conflict is mm. something that is a charged word of because, course yeah because uh from the palestinian side or from uh certain sides the word conflict doesn't accurately describe the situation because if you see it as a genocide, one way genocide, it's not a conflict because to that, to to people that uh, discuss, the, um, that challenge the word conflict, they see, you know, conflict is when there's two equally powerful sides sure. fighting. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's hard. And, you know, in in a number of cases, so this, is, this is actually speaks to a slightly broader phenomenon, which is, there are a number of cases where there is no one word that can get yeah. consensus. And in the body of an article, that's usually okay because we can explain the whole thing. You can come away with an understanding of why each side wants to use a certain word. But there are some aspects, like the page has to have a title. Um, so, you know, there's that. Same thing with um, so certain things like photos. You know, it's like, well, there's different photos, which one's best? A lot of different views on that, but at the end of the day, you need the lead photo because there's one slot for a lead photo. 
categories is another one. Um, so oh. I, at one point, I have no idea if it's in there today, but I don't think so. Um, I was listed in, uh, you know, kind of American entrepreneurs, fine, American atheists. And I said, hmm, like, I don't, that doesn't feel right to me. Mm -hmm. Like, just personally, it's true. I mean, I wouldn't wouldn't disagree with the objective fact of it. Mm. But when you click the category and you see sort of a lot of people who are, you might say, American atheist activists, because mm -hmm. that's their big issue. So Madeleine Murray O'Hare or mm -hmm. various famous people who, uh, Richard Dawkins, who make it a big part of their mm -hmm. public argument and persona. But that's not true of me. It's just like my private personal belief. It doesn't really, it's not something I campaign about. So it felt weird to put me in the category, but like what category would you put you know and and do you need that category? in this case i was i argued it doesn't need that kind of like that's not i don't speak about it publicly except incidentally from time to time i don't campaign about it so it's weird to put me with this group of people and that argument carried the day i hope not just because it was me but um but categories can be like that uh, where you know you're either in the category or you're not and sometimes it's a lot more complicated than that. And and is it again? We go back to, is it undue weight? Uh, you know, if uh, uh, someone who is now prominent in public life and generally considered to be a good person mm -hmm. uh, was convicted of something, let's say DUI mm -hmm. when they were young, we normally in normal sort of discourse we don't think, oh, this person should be in the category of American criminals. Mm -hmm. Because you think, oh, a criminal, yeah, technically speaking, it's against the law to drive under the influence of alcohol, and you were arrested, and you spent a month in prison or whatever. But it's odd to say that's a criminal. So just as an like, example in this area is um, Mark Wahlberg, Marky Mark, that's what I always think of him as, because that was his first sort of famous name, who I wouldn't think should be listed as in the category American criminal, even though he did, he was convicted of a uh, quite a bad crime when he was a young person, but we don't think of him as a criminal. Should the entry talk about that? Yeah, it's actually, that's actually an important part of his life story, you know, that he had a very rough youth and he could have, you know, gone down a really dark path and he turned his life around. That's actually interesting. So categories are tricky. Especially with people, because we like to assign labels to people and to ideas somehow, and those labels stick. Yeah. And there's certain words that have a lot of power, like criminal, um, like political, left, right, center, mm. uh, anarchist, objectivist. Uh, what other philosophies are there? Marxist, communist, social democrat, <laughs> democratic socialist, socialist. And like, if you add that as a category, all of a sudden it's like, oh boy. You're yeah. that guy now. Yeah. And I don't know if you want to be well, that guy. Well, there's some definitely some really charged ones. Uh, like alt-right, I think, is quite a, quite a complicated and tough label. I mean, it's not a completely meaningless label, but boy, I think you really have to pause before you actually put that label on someone. Partly because now you're putting them in a group of people, some of whom are quite, you wouldn't want to be grouped with. So it's 